It has been a exhausting October this month. Oh my goodness, man. It's wow. I mean, for me, working my nine to five to coming home and then doing the whole drawing, which takes me about, I'd say roughly four hours per drawing, depending on how, like, how much I snapped on one and how much I don't really snap on one. I didn't really try to snap on every single one. Um, no, I'm sorry, I, I did try to snap on every single one, but I just, sometimes the prompts, I just couldn't think of anything creative to do uh, with that. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so this video is just showing you what I've done so far, and um, also each video is gonna be a uh, speed drawing of, I've recorded every single one of the pieces that I've done so far, so like from the process to of starting one, and then, and then, uh, well actually, no, what happened was, I, re I would, before I would go into work um, each day, I would draw out a rough draft and then come, didn't go, I would go to work and then I would also come home after work and just finish off the drawing. Um, I also, if you check out my TikTok, which is the link in the description below, um, you can also see me uh, drawing out each piece as well as I've done them every day. I would do it every day. I would simultaneously record a video and then do a TikTok and then I would just post it on both the TikTok, my TikTok huh? and then the and the, the yeah, words I will post it on my TikTok and then I will also post it on my Instagram page um, so um, you can see if you follow me on Instagram you can see my whole process of uh, me doing all of that um, so yeah but without further delay here is the first one so we last time we had left off we had did bulky I think um, so from bulky onwards it was prey and then blade and rodent and so on and so on and so forth but um, I was just each I was just gonna show you what happened with each piece how did each piece turn out what the prompt that I did and yeah let's get right into it I should also mention that um, there's two prop list in this inktober i guess they were collaborating with primal which is a show on um, i'm assuming um, adult swim um and each like uh, every few as you can see here each every few prompt would be a different you know um different kind of prompt that that goes with the uh with them but that kind of follows the theme of the primal um show i would assume and then they would have um this one here which was literally the same thing, but just a few one were different. So I, I kind of um, just went with different ones. If I couldn't think of a prompt for a certain one, like for, for like for instance, I think I, I know I did Hunter differently. Um, Hunter was Buddy, as you can see. So if you look at 25, it's Hunter, but on this one, it's it's Buddy. So I, I didn't do like the full list um which actually got me thinking on the next um next year's inktober if i participate in it if they do something like this like if they do you know a um different kind of uh prompt for each year like a partner with somebody like that i was thinking maybe like as in like an idea um combining prompts together so for instance you know how four is um right here it's radio but four on the primal one was prey, so I can combine it to make a praying radio or something like that, or or loss, or I can do with, with eighteen and then eighteen on the regular one is um, trap. I can do like lost trap or trap loss or lost in the trap or something like that. Just this is something creative. I think I think I should have done that um, towards the beginning of it, but now that I'm thinking about it. You know, hindsight is 2020. It would have been a great idea to do that. Do that, but yeah, let's just get back into the the, the main part of the video.
All right, so here's the prey piece that I did um, when I was um, working on this piece. Um, you can somewhat see where the inspiration is coming from on that one. <laughs> um, basically, what happened was I couldn't really think of anything like that came to mind that I would want to do prey. Everybody was doing like prey, like, you know, a lion or um, an animal being the prey or something like that. Like a lion in the, in the background or a monster in the background when the little old piece of prey was, you know, just um, being a little innocent and minding its own business. Um, but, um, the, the, no, I, I did not want to do something like that. I kind of, since I'm, you know, the gamer in me wanted to do the off the prey video game. So, um, yeah, this one was very um, fun to do actually um I, I tried something new with this piece um as you can see here i didn't quite do it as much as i feel like i feel like i should have but there was uh i did um off the reference picture that i use which i'll just pop it up right there um the reference picture i used you know it had like you know these little things here like, like the the little thing here just dissolving this, this cup in the picture so I kind of wanted to um, somewhat incorporate that um, Why thinking back at it now which I kind of did here as you can see add some gold pieces to it um, to make you know it seem like everything was getting dissolved so yeah that was fun to do um, and yeah just on to the next one So now the second one we did after um, Prey was Blade. Now, I don't think anyone in the Inktober um, session was doing this one. I mean, I couldn't find any on doing Blade. I maybe we saw one or two people who caught on to it. But most of the stuff, as you will see here in the prompts that I was doing, was um, I was doing some more like comic book superhero kind of stuff on it so you will see in in the later videos or video or maybe this video i'm not sure if i'm gonna cut this up or not but uh yeah like the i was doing mostly just marvel slash dc kind of stuff on it because I, I i'm that's just a nerd in me you know like i i love that kind of stuff i love the superheroes and your superheroes and your mcus and your powers and all that kind of stuff so anyway uh i i um this one i was definitely going for blade here um the reference picture i used um um was very very cool i actually had a great time doing this one just just this just shading in this one and whatnot and i like the you know the shotgun here that i worked on um based off the reference and uh, speaking of references you will see me use a lot of references if you look at my tiktok um you can see that i would um film the reference that i use and then i would um start with the video um so yeah, this one um i use just a reference off of the interwebs off google um uh, I, I am in a stage in my life right now with my art is where I'm constantly using references just to hone in my own style because um, I'm still working on that, my style part. I kind of got it down, but I, 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 I'm just inspired in by so many um, artists out there that's just, man, the stuff that they do, the stuff that they think about, the stuff they come up with is just amazing um also along this journey with the inktober stuff i uh i've met a lot of um 
people in the community that I just follow on Instagram, um, which was very fun to do, honestly, like to see their artwork and then to share their artwork and then for them to share my artwork and then my follower base just go up off of that. It's just a very great experience, um, which, by the way, you should follow me on Instagram at good art that's what I, I that's what i do i, I draw <laughs> but uh yeah it, it it was it was great seeing a lot of just creative people and just them working on their pieces along the same way i was doing and us coming together as a community an art community and just sharing what we did our interpretation of these prompts which was just super fun to do Now, the next one is Eurodent. Um, I just went something simple with this, uh, add a little bit of my style to it. Um, Rodent, you know, I mean, <laughs> what can you really do with that? I mean, it's, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's something you could do. You could have done a little bit of a story based kind of piece to it, but um, I was just trying to get through this one. Not that I think about it. Um, a lot of the pieces that I've, uh, you will see in this video will be just me um, doing my interpretation, of course. That's what the whole point is. Uh, but with this piece, yeah, this one was actually really fun to do, honestly. Um, it was my first time ever drawing a mice or a rodent like this. Um, I always liked, found it funny that you know mice had the big ears and whatnot. So that was kind of cool that I added that and then I added the um, little whiskers there. Um, the uh, the reflection of the eyes was actually my favorite part of this piece and then just the eyes in general uh, was my favorite part and then coming up with the idea with the triangle in the background was just really cool but yeah I like the eyes because it looks like you know realistic you know I like the the, re the reflection of the lighting off of the eyes and um, and then of course these big ears um, I definitely love the shape of the rodent that I did I, as you can see in the TikTok that I did the rodent was it was I, how I did this whole piece was based off shapes, you know, something just back to basics, back to basics kind of art, um, starting off with shapes and then drawing off and sketching and sculpting those shapes. Those were really fun to do. So yeah, I like this one. You are watching a master at work. This one, oh my goodness, this one was really fun to do. Oh my gosh, this was my, I don't say 
I, I guess it was my first time ever doing um, Padme like this. But oh my goodness, this Star Wars one, I, I, I had done another one after this, another Star Wars one um, you will see in a little bit in the video. But this was fun. Oh my goodness. Coming up with the ideas off the of reference to do certain things, coming in with the detail that I did with this this was fire man this was awesome um the reference i used i used two references because i, I kind of couldn't get the full image off off my mind because this part right here was the toughest part this part right here was definitely a, a, a doozy to, to reference off of um but uh yeah th this whole piece uh, i think this piece also on my instagram was like the most popular one off of like all of my um pictures uh this was um this took me about maybe a full day. I think I worked on this one on my day off. Um, so this took me a full day to do, um, in which I tried to not make them last me the, a, a full day because there was other responsibilities in my life that I had to take care of. But um, this was I had I enjoyed this from like the fur working on the fur parts here, and then um, the shadows off her face, and of course the accents reds here. That was great, and then the reflection of her hair. It was it was a blast. I love this one. This one this one I would say it has to be in my top five that I've done. Um, this one was yeah, just a blast. Teeth was, I kind of was kind of straightforward to me on this one. Now that I think about it, um, a lot of the prompts here, I instantly knew I was going to draw when they came up to that prompt. So I, I some of the stuff is just super, you know, fast comes to me real straight. Some of them though took me forever to come up with because I just didn't know what to come up with. <laughs> but uh, the uh, this one, of course, you know, I gotta do it with, with one of the greatest artists we have right now. Um, no, um, in the um, in the. Uh, <laughs> 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 but yeah, this one was uh, kind of straightforward, simple. Um, just back to basics of my referencing and. Um, drawing people which is what I kind of love doing is drawing people that's like my specialty um, I love this um, background that I did right here with the space dots or how you want to call it um, I think that was really cool um, on some I, you can see that in some of the pieces I did like I started doing that a lot more often so that was really cool but I mean I can add the baby on um, now as you know one of the many celebrities that I've already drawn so this is this is really cool like I like this one As you can see here, I did the um, the space um, things again, um, which I don't know what the proper term for this one is. Um, I'll have to say though, this piece was my least favorite. Um, looking back at it, um, some of the things that I could have changed was made this lightning bolt um, a little bit more. Uh, what's the term? Lightning bolty. <laughs> um, I just I don't know, man. I. I did like the figure that I draw. The figure was really cool, you know, going back to basics with just my people drawing. I'm not really good at drawing full bodies at this time, but when I get to that point, I'm, I'm going to snap. But uh, the uh, 
this piece was yeah I, I I did have fun drawing it but looking back at it it could have been I could have done a lot better I could have added more details on the, the moon here I could have added um, a little bit more depth to this piece um, so I'd say I give this one uh, I don't know I'll give it a four out of ten on that one I could have did a lot better on this one um, honestly um, I did I do like however though the 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 pieces here poking out of the sides here yeah fun to make man i love this one this one right here definitely like i said one of my top fives and like the last star wars one this one was an absolute blast um i snapped on this one i think this is one of the ones that i really snapped on i mean from i mean the lightsaber effect i mean come on man that was that's mm, that's fire right there and then with the reflection off of the, the green reflection off the hair and then same on, on um on Ray's lightsaber with the um, blue reflecting off of her like that was I think a nice final touch to the whole piece um, and of course drawing John Boega is like the best I can do I mean I, I think I could have no I, I love actually I love the, the way he came out um, and I love I actually love the way everyone came out I really do I could have actually not that thing but I could have just made his lips a little bit more darker because you know your lips aren't the same color it well, very few people's lips are the same color as the rest of their skin so yeah, I know Mark Hamill's isn't really the same like that so I probably should have added a little bit of color into that but red all in all though this whole piece was fire man I changed it up. I didn't want I wanted to do a space um, that space stuff I was talking about earlier but now that I think about it, I was like, nah, this is probably something, I wanted something different with this one. I definitely wanted something different. I didn't want to do too, um, I didn't want it to be too obvious on that one. Uh, now that I'm looking, looking at this though, I should have added a little bit more shading to this part. But, I mean, what do I did? Okay, I see what I did there. Yeah, alright. But yeah, this whole piece is fire. This is like definitely my top five, and I am, I love this one. I, I, I really do. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, I want to come out with part two, or actually part three of this whole um, Inktoberfest thing. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification 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 bell. Man, I can speak today. <laughs> but yeah um i'm definitely gonna do more videos like this um i got you know a whole you know list to go to, to go through um right now i'm looking at my screen here i am on well today is the 26th so i gotta do today's prompt in addition to this so i'm gonna just upload this video and then i'm gonna go back and make another video so but yeah make sure you hit my follow me on uh, twitter and instagram um and check out my merch at www.goodart.com there where you can find most of my art pieces on um a article of clothing um, i'm going to be making more in the near future um so if you want to you know cop a piece and support your boy and his dreams that'll be very much appreciated and yeah thank you very much for watching